I'm back with another installment of viewer favorites. These were your top picks using my links from everything that I talked about in the month of February. So as usual, I break it down into several categories, beauty and skincare, clothing, accessories, and then lifestyle, just random stuff. I just didn't know where to stick it. So let's start with beauty. The top item again, I've emptied this out, so the whole, poor thing is smooshed. It was the Colleen Rothschild Premium Collection. It is a really great way to dive into the Colleen Rothschild skincare line without um, investing in full-size products. You get much larger products. They're bigger than the Discovery Collection, and I don't think I have anything in here. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm getting ready for a trip and I'm packing things all over the place, but um, I'll pop in a picture of all the stuff that comes with it, and so it's a really great way to get a really solid trial of quite a few of her bestsellers, including her Radiant Cleansing Balm, the face oil number nine, and a whole bunch of others. And of course, you get this very nice roomy, very roomy, um, little quilted travel bag. So that is nice. Okay, number two is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer that has my hair all in it. And I wanted to say the feedback from that video was amazing. So many of you have discovered a love for this as well, and it's really been a big game changer as far as everyday hair care, hair styling. I did also wanna say, I don't use it just on wet hair. If I kinda of wanna zhuzh things up a little bit, I just do it on second day hair, dare I say third day hair, um, and just go over it again and kinda of smooth things out. So very, very handy and everybody seems to love it and uh, I'm glad to hear that. Another favorite in the beauty skincare category from February of yours, which is also a favorite of mine and I do need to repurchase them myself, it's the Shiseido White Lucent Brightening Mask and I have some big events coming up in the next few weeks. I'm definitely gonna pick up the, I think it's a six pack of them. I think, like I said earlier, it is more effective in brightening and overall instant kind of effect than, than any of the other masks that I've tried, including SK2. So if you wanna dip your toe into the sheet mask category and you want something that makes you look bright and awake and even skin tone, definitely try out the Shiseido White Lucent Brightening Skin Masks. Apparently, many of you already have. Okay, the next favorite, number four on the list, is this guy, which is on my lips right now. It's the Lancome Labsolu Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Shine Manifesto. It's funny, I thought I had picked up another one when I went to San Francisco, uh, the Nordstrom there. I thought I had picked up another one in the shade uh, Nuit du Jour, Night and Day. It turns out it was the lip gloss and not the lip lacquer. It's still great, it just doesn't last quite as long as this does. So definitely need to go back and buy the lip lacquer version of it and maybe a couple more colors. Now we're getting into spring, I like trying out maybe some corals or something like that. Um, but apparently a lot of you like this as well. And then the last thing in beauty and skincare that was a viewer favorite in February was this beauty from Amazon. It's the no-name label, Mineral Liquid Powder Foundation. I wear it in the shade Linen. I am wearing it right now. Couple things I forgot to mention. I don't know if I've done a dedicated review just on this. I don't think I have. Um, I love this, I use it a lot. It's not as dewy, let's say, as the Wonder Beauty one. So if I want full coverage and dewy and flawless skin, that's what I go for. If I want more just generally flawless skin and a little more satin to matte finish, this is what I reach for. This also has SPF 15. I did notice it doesn't play well with heavier moisturizers and the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter. It starts to kind of separate a little bit. So I think this works best probably because of the mineral comp uh, composition works best directly on top of just a regular moisturizer, nothing too thick. Okay, moving on to the clothing category, the number one most popular item was the Wild Fox Black Pullover, which unfortunately is sold out. It sold out like that. But I looked around, as I do, and I noticed that Wild Fox has a similar um, top called the Beach V or something like that, and it doesn't just come in black, it comes in white and maybe a few other colors as well and I will link that um, down there in the clothing section. But um, the same kind of just casual, simple, clean lines without all the graphic tea stuff that Wild Fox uh, shirts generally have. I'm not against those, but if you want something a little more sophisticated looking but have the feel of a sweatshirt, these Wild Fox tops are amazing. The next favorite was the Bardo Lace Cocktail Dress. I just wore that a couple weeks ago um, at an event again. I'll put a picture of me in there. It's a tiny little picture. That's all, the only picture we got from the event was that. 
I love this dress. Um, I love it's simple and yet it's, you know, with the lace detail, it's a little bit more than your basic back black dress. It now also comes in red, if that's more your thing. You have two options there. And I would recommend sizing up one. I'm usually a four, but I wear a six in this line. I think it's skewed a little more to the juniors um, sizing. So definitely, I'd say if you're in between sizes, size up. The number three in the viewer favorites from February was the, I call it the popcorn chenille sweater from JCPenney. Um, it's still available and I think it's on sale now. So grab it while you can. I really like that JCPenney keeps their stuff in stock for a really long time. So that's quite helpful. Uh, I was, I'm sure you saw, I was just in JCPenney doing a haul and the sweater was still there in the store as well. So it's still getting a little chilly depending on where you are. So definitely room for a sweater in your collection. If you haven't grabbed this one, you will not be disappointed. The number four in the clothing category from your favorites was the anthropology. It's called the cloud fleece top. It was that coral, really soft top. I love it. I have to stop myself from wearing it two or three days in a row. It's just that comfortable. I personally love the coral color. I feel like it just makes me look like I'm wearing makeup even when I'm not. But it also comes in, I wrote this down, beige, mint, and navy. So if you're looking for some more springy colors, that mint one would be really pretty. I'm thinking about grabbing it in navy because I can never have enough navy. So, but it's a great, great top and anthropology is always running sales like constantly. So keep an eye out for those. And if you follow me on Instagram, I try to alert you in my stories when sales are going on. And then the last favorite in the clothing category from you was actually the top shop snake print blouse. And I say actually because there are a few comments saying, oh my gosh, I hate snakes. Um, I'm even scared to wear snake print. But um, based on how many of you clicked on that link, I would say that more of you are into snakes than you are admitting online. And it's funny because I really, really like that um, blouse. I've worn it a few times myself already. But when I was shopping for that video, what I really wanted was there is a dress that is in the same print from Topshop and it's a like a shirt dress, but it has a really cool open pleated bottom and that is still available as well. So if you want a really fun spring dress and you like the snake print thing, I think you should go check that out. I don't know if I could pull off wearing two pieces from the same collection in the same print, that's a lot. But it's if I had to pick, I would have picked the dress over the shirt. But at the time it wasn't available, so I went with the blouse. Okay, moving on to accessories. Your most favorite accessory from February were these. These are the Panacea, I think they're called the teardrop earrings. It's a really delicate hoop type shape, but shaped like a big teardrop. And then these are tiny little crystals dangling down. They're very, you know, they're a statement earring without being a statement. You know, they're very lightweight, they're delicate. You can make them, dress them up and wear them for a more formal occasion or I'm about to go to Panera, I think, for lunch, so I'm wearing it there. But they're, you don't even know they're in your ear. That is, the, that is the danger. You can go to sleep with these on because you forget they're there. They weigh nothing. Second favorite was, I'll pop a picture in, the Treasure and Bond Santa Ball Wedge. I picked it up in gray. It also actually comes in the color of the next favorite. Um, it also comes in this tan, comes in, wait, I wrote up this all down, comes in leather in black, white, gray, and tan. I have the gray. I really want the tan. It also comes in suede in like a dusty rose and a mustard yellow. The dusty rose is selling out like that. It's already sold out in my size. I wanted to grab it. Should have done it while I could. Um, check out your size because they are so comfortable. They sold out like crazy last year. I'm glad they brought them back and I really need to jump on board and grab another pair. So like I mentioned, this thing, I think this has made the viewer favorites list like every single month that I've done this. If you still don't own this, this is the Andy or Andy crossbody bag from GG New York. They have this in a ton of different colors in the fall winter time. Right now on the website, all they're showing is this tan, um, a black color, black, not a black, black, and uh, white. I don't really love the white. I do like it in black though, but I'm curious to see if they're going to release this in different leathers or different colors for spring. I'm not, I don't have any inside intel on that, so I can't tell you, but this is my most worn handbag. I adore it. It's just so easy to wear. If I were, this has nothing to do with viewer favorites, but I was just thinking in my head, if I could design this to be like a different bag to go with it, I would make it a little more, I like the shape. I would make it a little more structured. 
I'd put a little magnetic snap here and I'd put a top handle. And then I would put an outside slip pocket on the back and then I would have the perfect little spring bag. But they're not listening to me and they have not decided to redesign that just yet. So that was just a tangent. I, in my head, sometimes I redesign my handbags to make the perfect bag. If I were ever to be offered any kind of collaboration where I could design something, it wouldn't be a makeup palette. It would be a handbag because I'm always looking for like just the perfect one. Okay, that was a tangent. Speaking of handbags, the next favorite was this guy that I just got lipstick on. This is the Saint Anne Zipper Tote from Barrington Gifts. I chose it in a very basic sort of linen-y shade. This isn't linen, this is vinyl. And instead of doing this big stripe with my initials um, painted across like I did with the Savannah Zipper Tote, I went with the more understated stamped leather here, which is stamped with my initials, with Barrington Gifts, um, with all of their pieces. You can go crazy. You can choose the pattern or lack of pattern. You can choose whether you want the stripe or just the leather. If you go with the stripe, there's about six gajillion color options. You can even choose the color of your leather. I think there's two or three options. Great for travel, and I have a feeling um, that this will be coming with me to the reward style conference too, because I will need it to tote around a bunch of stuff. So I'm looking forward to using that there. And then the last thing, I didn't want to put it on because I love it, but there's a tiny little issue with it that I wanted to, to run by you. It's the slouchy beanie hat with a little pom-pom. Um, that I picked up from Amazon that comes in a bunch of colors. I still love it. I just wore it recently because it was freezing, but I have noticed that it leaves little lines in my head. Um, so just wanted to put that out there if that's concerning to you. Maybe my head's just huge. I don't know. Um, at that point, if it's that cold outside that for me that I have to reach for a beanie, I'm not really going. I'm not taking it off anytime. So, like I'll wear it inside. I'm cold all the time as you all well know. So just wanted to let you know about that little negative part. It leaves like the wool line ridges across my forehead. Any pointers on how to avoid that? Please let me know. Okay, last category is random and lifestyle type stuff. And still number one, still a major viewer favorite is the Kennebunk Bliss Plush Throw. Try saying that quickly five times. Now that we are getting closer to graduation season, I think it's time for everybody to start figuring out where your friend's kids are going to college and go snap one up in the color of their college or their dorm room because I don't know how long, I don't know if this is around year round or if this is slowly gonna get phased out as the weather warms up, but it's under $40. It is the softest throw in the world. It is something we fight over constantly at my house. Even the dogs have been known to go out of their way to pull it off the couch so that they can lay on it. It's something magical. I didn't know whether to put this in clothing or accessories, so I put it here. It's the Chantel Seamless Hipster Panties. Very popular with everyone. Who knew underwear would be a number one seller? Um, I really like my pair, but a lot of you have also recommended the Soma, I think it's the Vanishing Edge panties, so I need to go check those out as well. If anyone has any more recommendations on non-thong um, panties that don't give you visible panty line, VPL, please let me know. Um, eager to try out a few. I think I'm past the thong phase in my life. Okay, this was one of the most polarizing things that I've recommended and yet still a number one seller. The Milani sheet set from Amazon. I originally, I actually picked up two sets for our new king size bed and I could not stand them, but they are the I think top rated sheet set on Amazon. So here's the deal. If you like microfiber sheets, super soft sheets, super warm sheets, you will love the Milani sheets. Many of you said that you do. I like, even when it's cold, I'll just get a hot water bottle to warm up the sheets, but even when it's cold, I like crisp, smooth, cool sheets. So based on a lot of your recommendations, thank you, I went to Target and I picked up the uh, threshold performance sheet sets. I don't know why they're called performance. I don't know what kind of performing you're doing on the sheets, but I will tell you that those are the kind of sheets I'm looking for. They're clean, they're crisp, they come in a lot of colors, they wash really well, they get a little softer with each wash, but they don't lose, like they're not as stiff, but they don't lose that crisp, cool feeling at the same time, if that is not an oxymoron. 
I don't know. But anyway, so if you're not in the microfiber camp and you're looking for a different kind of sheet set, try the threshold ones. I've been really pleased and I like the price point. The number four item was the aromatherapy essential oil diffuser um, on Amazon. I think again, it's like one of their number one most recommended of that category. I need to go pick one up because my son Shane hijacked mine and he put it in his room. So um, I need to get another one. Also, if you can recommend some essential oils for like feeling like to work with a headache, I see now that we're, I'm looking out the window past the camera and I can see the yellow pollen all over the trees. So I get crazy headaches when that happens. Um, instead of just pounding down Advil and Tylenol, I would love maybe an aromatherapy recipe or you know a couple little drops of something that'll work. So all of you essential oil addicts, please comment below and tell me what you guys use for headaches. Okay, and then the last thing that was a viewer favorite in February, and I'm so excited because that means a lot of you are reading along with me, was the book selection for March's book club, which is Thursday, March 28th, 8 p.m. Central. Just a little reminder, coming up. And it's called The Deep End by Julie Mulhern. And many, many, many of you have already reached out and said, not only did you love and read the first one, you went on to order pretty much the whole rest of the series and are plowing your way through. It's a quick read. It's a fun read. It's, a, it's an interesting read. Um, and I really hope that y'all are reading. It's not too late to pick up the book. Trust me, you can get through it pretty quickly. And I hope to see you live like I said, Thursday, March 28th, 8 p.m. And, you know, bring the beverage of your choice with you. I won't be able to see you, but I will be drinking mine. So that's it. I'm looking at a list that is complete. That is it for your viewer favorites from February 2019. If I haven't thanked you before, let me thank you again. Thank you for clicking on my links. Although clicking, I don't get a commission when you click. If you like, if you're curious about what I'm talking about and you just want to click on those links to get more information, no commissions come from that. So if, if you're ethically against affiliate links, that is fine. However, if you use those links to then purchase something, I do get a commission from that. So thank you so much. Those purchases help me continue to buy more stuff for uh, me to talk about here on my YouTube channel. So I really, really appreciate your support in that way. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the feedback. I look forward to reading your comments and your suggestions on essential oils and how to get the head creases off your face. Um, thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.